Welcome back to the Demigod Collective channel. This is Joda. JP, how you doing today? A little under the weather. Not going to lie to you about that one. Definitely not feeling my best. There's something I wanted to get into, a subject matter I wanted to talk about. But first, make sure you check out the hard body music video, which will be located somewhere on the screen. Thank you so much. We really, en really enjoy what we do and would like to share it more with you. Right? Right? Music is all about... The art is what it's all about. The art. So this is uh, more along the lines of when art imitates life and life imitates art. Poor Takashi, man. Like, you can tell he's a good dude and that he's really just going through things. But one of the, the things I've seen in the rap game lately is just the inability to separate art from life, life from art, church from state. You know what I mean? You, He has so many issues and legal issues to get to where he was. Was it worth it, right? Is it worth it to do that? Is it worth it to go through all those things? I don't think it is. But I don't know either, right? Because I'm trying to achieve something of my own. I'm trying to do my own shit. I'm trying to figure out how what was the best place to hold this mic that I'm having a little bit of trouble on, you know? Um, the man had, he went through a lot. And that's without saying. But, here's the iffy. Here's the but. Here, here, here is... Here's the big deal. A lot of this shit he did is fucking self. A lot of this shit he instigated on his own. Now, I'm not one to be like, this is all your fault, you're trash. It could be influence. He could have been in a situation where his the rest of the, the gang he was with, the Treyway Bloods, right? That they were just like, all right, this is the situation now. You're in this rap game, and this is what we have to do. To to, you know, we have to racketeer still. Just, it's, it's terrible. It, it's, it's terrible. I don't like how that makes me feel. And you don't know if this person was just victimizing out. You don't know if he did these things. You know, news is coming out that he's done these things. And he's, he's really at fault. My take is this. Soul take. You have to really figure out. Which one you want the most. We've seen this shit. You know, leave your hood behind. Leave that shit behind. You move on to better things. You know, have uh, have a way to, to exit. Have a way to not be involved in this life anymore. You know? But when you mix them up, and you're running with the wrong crowds, and you're taking shortcuts, and you're threatening people's lives, this is just an outcome of it. This is just what happens. This is a, a symptom of our society where we, we love to watch someone like this and someone who looks like this and someone who does these things, but we don't necessarily want to partake in the consequences of it. Look, man, gang life ain't, ain't serious. It's serious shit. And if you're in gang lifing, right, you're really out here doing that. You, you got you to gotta think. You have to think about the future. Obviously, you didn't think about the future with the face tats and all that shit. Like, that was a bold statement, but possible life charges, possible Rico racketeering and firearm charges. You know, lots of things going wrong with my man. And I, it's a shame to see it. It's definitely destructive for him. And it's something that, you know, he's going to have to have a hard time with. It, it's, he had a one year of success, one fucking year, something that a lot of us would kill for in this industry. One year of success, lifetime of fucking problems. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm sitting at myself here, like I'm trying to make this content for I can get exposure for the stuff that we do. And I'm like, fuck, I would never. That's just, there's just certain lines that we, it's just not worth crossing. And there's just certain uh, things you can't go back from. And when you chase that kind of lifestyle so rapidly and hard, it does become very difficult for you to do anything after. Or in his case, did anyone see him living another way after this? It was just prison or it. Like prison or success in the rap game, becoming an actor or something maybe. It was just going to be a difficult, very difficult thing for him to accomplish and for him to do. And it's just very upsetting. And I hate to see him go through that. You don't want anybody to go through that. But at the same time, you treat this motherfucker, you treat him like a, like a ringleader. You treat him like, like he's a, like a spectacle. And this is what occurs, man. It is what it is. To be honest, I wish him the best. I don't want anything to happen to this guy. <sighs> but 
We're just going to have to yell Trey away and get over it. Guys, any comments, share on the video on the bottom comment. We'll be posting the links in our channel stuff on top. Please check out Demigod Collective. We would really appreciate it. And that is it, guys. I have been under the weather and Joda, and I will see you next time. Peace.